Okay, let's see if you will let me make this video, hmm? I still love you though. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Victoria. I'm so glad that you are here. I hope you will consider subscribing. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Today's video is going to be all about my first week as an orthodontic assistant. I'm so excited to tell you guys about how my first week went and I put a poll up on my Instagram if y'all wanted to see this video or if you wanted to see a video on how to make friends as a military spouse and you guys voted for this video more. I definitely want to make the other video but I just might make it at a later date. So so this is the one I wanted to get up first. So make sure you are following me on Instagram. So next time I put a poll like that, you can vote on which video you would rather see on my channel. So, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So in my last video on the topic of my dental assisting job, I told you guys that I got hired at the place that I got placed for my externship. And you can watch that whole video if you want to know all about like how I got the job and everything like that. And like, how my externship kind of came about. I will link that video down below and up in the iCards so you guys can watch that first if you haven't seen that or if you're new to my channel. So basically my school placed me at this place for my externship and then when I was interviewing for my externship, they actually hired me on the spot for a full-time job. So my externship is only 40 hours, which after my first week and talking to all of my coworkers, um, a lot of them were surprised that it was so short and they said that they had to do externships that were a lot longer than me so i know that every school is different but my school only has a 40-hour externship which i'm really grateful for because pretty much after this week i'm i figured out that i'm pretty much learning everything on the job in dental assisting school you kind of just touch on orthodontics you don't really go fully into it at least in my experience and from what a few of my coworkers have told me. So basically I'm learning everything on the job, which I was so nervous about, so I'm really happy about that. I was really nervous that I was gonna go into it and I was going to be expected to know everything and do everything correctly, but that is so not the case. I have pretty much been trained everything just on the job, which I am actually really happy about because I know like a lot of people, I learn best through hands-on experiences and just through like doing it myself. So basically on my second day, my trainer, she just like threw me in the chair and she was like, here, go ahead and try it. So I feel like I've really benefited from that and I'm really thankful for her for doing that for me because I feel like I have learned the best way that way. Does that make sense? So on the first day I went in and this is just my experience. I'm kind of just sitting down and talking to you like I would tell this to a friend. It's basically like a story time of my first week as an orthodontic assistant. And my first day I went in and I pretty much just watched the girl that was assigned to train me. And so like in, at least in our orthodontic offices, I kind of work in a few different ones, but we have an open bay concept with it, which if you're familiar with, um, like dental assisting and things like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's like one big room and all of the chairs are in like one room. So you kind of like work with everybody. Um, and I kind of like that because it's not like you're like shut off from other people. You can kind of see everyone, talk to everyone and kind of see what's going on. So that's how it is. And so I'm able to like watch and see a lot of different things. Um, and some of the offices, like the sterilization is where you can see, like you can see it while you're working and then in another office i worked in it was in like a separate room so i can kind of see everything that's going on and kind of learn through just watching and so like all week i've pretty much just been like a sponge just like soaking in all the information that i can so i can do my job the best that i can in the future so that's pretty much what i've been doing i haven't been like i've tr i mean i've been asking a lot of questions and things like that but mostly i've just been like watching and just like soaking it all in because that's how i learn the best and so um, my trainer has been really awesome. She's like so much fun and I love working with her. The first day, basically, like I said, I just watched. I didn't hardly do anything at all. I pretty much just watched everything that she did, watched the steps that she took, how she interacts with the doctor, how she interacts with the patient. And I feel like you have to have a certain type of personality to be a dental assistant or an orthodontic assistant. You have to be, especially when you're working with kids like I am because there is a lot of children. I've seen a lot of adults too, uh, but it's a lot of children and actually a lot of younger children than I expected, like nine year olds, 10 year olds. I was expecting more like teenagers, I guess, but that's not really the case. Um, there's a lot of adults and then there's a lot of kids that are young and getting like phase one treatment before all of, all of their adult teeth have come in. So I have been just like learning a lot through watching and I think that that has been super helpful for me. So if you are going to be a dental assistant and you are going to be doing your externship, just make sure you just like 
ask a lot of questions, watch what they're doing, and just pay attention to the technique that they use. Of course, everything that you do is going to be done a little bit differently because everybody kind of has their own way of doing things. But for the most part, you can kind of just like see what little tips and tricks they have of how to do certain things the correct way. So the second day of my externship, I pretty much got thrown in there, which was really awesome. I really appreciated that she did that for me because it really kind of just forced me to just practice and do it. And I think that the best way, at least what they've told me and from what I've experienced in the last week, the best way for you to learn is to just get in the mouth and do it because you're you're never gonna, you can read and watch videos, but you're never really gonna understand or really, it's never gonna really click until you're like in a person's mouth and you can see like, oh, that's where that goes or oh, that's how I hold this instrument to get into the bracket to do this or whatever, you know what I mean? So I just, I was in the mouth on day two and so that was really fun. I got to untie people, which basically means to like take the little rubber bands and their braces off and retie people, so putting the colors back on and I've learned how to, I, I learned a little bit of sterilization too on Friday, but for the most part, I've been kind of untying and retying people. And then I put in my first wire by myself on Friday and I did, I like did a lace on the bottom on my own, not all, not all the way on my own, but I almost did it on my own. <laughs> she had to kind of help me a little bit, but I've been doing a lot of things on my own. And if you guys are an orthodontic assistant, comment down below, cause you'll, you will know more of what I'm talking about, but I'm just kind of telling you like some of the cool things that I did. So basically I have a training like chart that they gave me of days that I'm gonna be learning certain things. So that's what my trainer is following with me. And so like, you know, I will be learning different procedures. There's certain things like bonding brackets that I haven't gotten in there and done yet because it's a little bit more complicated and I've just been watching. So more of like the easier things have is what I've been doing actually myself and then the other more complicated things um, I've just been watching my trainer do so it's just really cool and I don't know I don't know if that's how all externships work but basically I've just gotten in there and she just watches me and if I have any questions I ask her or I just look to her if I don't know something and I kind of just let all of the um, patients know um, well the last day or two I would say I didn't quite say it as much if I was doing it by myself because I felt pretty confident in the easier tasks that I've been doing. But for the most part, um, if I'm just watching, I'll say, my name is Victoria, I'm training with so-and-so, and I'll just be watching today, just to make them feel more comfortable. I think that one thing I was nervous about that I think maybe a lot of you watching this, if you are also going to be an orthodontic assistant, might be nervous about, is that the parents or like family member that comes with the patient will be nervous to watch you as a trainee doing things on their on their family member and that was like a concern that I had I, I wasn't as much afraid to actually get in there and do it myself as much as I was afraid of the judgment from the family members watching if that makes sense because I'm more worried about them thinking oh she doesn't know what she's doing or you know just like kind of doubting myself and fear of judgment but that has not happened like at all there's some patients that um, in their notes says that they want like lead assistance only which is totally fine so I just don't do that and I just watch and that's totally fine some people don't want people practicing on them which I get but that's like the only way that you can learn really so um, but I haven't really had that problem at all so if you're nervous about that don't be nervous just be confident and have a positive smiley attitude and usually people won't really say anything. One thing is that I have been really slow obviously because I am only in my first week and if you're like me and you put a lot of pressure on yourself, don't let yourself feel like you have to get get it right away because I swear like I have to, I like I kept reminding myself yesterday like this is your first week. You're never going to be perfect at what you're doing on the first week. You're never going to be like you know, a master at any of these, any of these things within a week. So I've been just trying to be patient with myself and not let myself get like super frustrated because like I said, I've only been doing it for a week and it's a lot to learn. Like orthodontic assistants do a lot. I don't know if like a lot of people realize, but at least where I work, we do a lot. And I guess when you have no knowledge about anything like that, you might think that the dentist, you know, pretty much does everything and that the dental assistant might just kind of clean up. Uh, but that's hardly the case um from the moment you go grab the patient and sit them down you pretty much 
handle everything up until a certain point and then the doctor will come over and check their teeth and see what they want to do they will tell you what they want done then they walk away and then you do it for them and then you uh put their information in their chart and we also do the sterilization so we deal with all of the cleaning of the instruments and things like that um something else that we do that i haven't gotten to do yet is uh like take impressions so like with the putty stuff if you have had braces you know what i'm talking about and they like put the, put it in your mouth and it takes an impression of your teeth i haven't done that yet but i watched her do it a few times and then making retainers so you can like pour up the model for the retainer and things like that which is really cool and yeah i just think that my job is so cool and i can't wait to share more of it with you guys so basically my first week was just kind of getting in there and learning like the basics i haven't touched on a lot of things yet but for the most part i've i've learned a lot of the basic stuff so yeah i guess that's all i really have to say i'm super excited i had a great first week although i am exhausted because you guys know i haven't been working like full time for a while so just going to a job and being there like a monday through friday kind of schedule um is exhausting and so i have been so tired last night i slept for like 10 hours because i've been getting up super early every day earlier than i've been waking up for a long time so i don't know i've just been really tired but it's a good tired and i'm so excited i'm just happy to be doing something i feel very productive with having a job and i know that some people can stay home and be happy in that and be fulfilled in that but i think um for me i've i've been feeling really really happy and content with having a job again and so if you can relate to that um you know what i mean so i've just been really happy and I don't know i'm just really excited about my job i don't know if you can tell but i'm just really excited about it and i have a passion for it that i didn't really realize that i had i knew i was interested in it but once i've been doing the job i'm like oh my gosh this is so cool and i really enjoy it so i don't know if you are an orthodontic assistant let me know down below in the comments i would love to like meet some of you guys i don't know if any of my subscribers really are dental assistants so um, and if you're not an orthodontic assistant let me know too if you're just a dental assistant in a different kind of office then let me know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i i hope you guys want to hear about this because i would love to talk more about it as i get more experienced and give more like advice videos or um, just like talk about my job more and yeah i hope you guys are having a great day i'm actually posting this the same day that i'm filming it so happy saturday um but if you want to see any more videos about my job then let me know down below i will link a couple of my videos on my caa and about like my dental assisting school and stuff like that down below if you guys want to watch those so make sure to check that out and yeah with that being said i guess i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one bye guys